Welcome back to Definite Hearing. In today's video, we are going to talk about an important topic for anyone who is considering getting hearing aids or already has them. This is occlusion. Have you ever wondered why your voice sounds different when you're wearing hearing aids versus when you're not? Let's talk about this in today's video. All right, so what is occlusion? Occlusion is when your ear canal is blocked by your hearing device. This could be a completely in the canal hearing device like the Linear Saturn, or it could simply be a full skeleton ear mold for a behind the ear hearing aid, which is what I actually wear. This blockage traps the sound of your voice in your ear canal, essentially. And so it sounds blocked and different. It can sound plugged like you're underwater or you're speaking into a barrel. Sometimes it's echoey. It sounds a little bit different for every person, but the bottom line is occlusion makes your voice sound different when your hearing devices are in versus when they are out. So why does occlusion matter? Well, because occlusion really depends on the user and the device that they are using. If the occlusion effect is too strong, it makes some people uncomfortable to speak because it makes their voice sound weird, or they may think that they sound weird to others. Imagine having a conversation and your voice sounds weird or echoey or boomy. You just are less likely to speak. Ultimately, this occlusion effect can cause some users to discontinue wearing their hearing devices. And that's the opposite of the purpose of using hearing devices. If a person uses hearing devices, they should at least appreciate the benefit they receive from them. A hearing aid wearer should appreciate the devices that they're wearing. They should not be torture. If they're torture, that's an indicator that something is wrong and needs to be changed. How can we tackle and address occlusion? There are a few different strategies that audiologists or hearing aid specialists use to reduce the occlusion effect. One common solution to the occlusion problem is adding ventilation. This can be a simple vent in an ear mold. Vents allow lower tones to escape and sound to move through your ear canal. So the sound that you're experiencing reduces the occlusion effect and sound more normal. Another option is open fit hearing aid molds or domes. These are an increasingly popular option and because of their open or airy fit, they let more natural sound flow through the ear canal and complement that normal sound better. If you are a subscriber, I want to thank you and thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscription button. In one of my recent videos, I talked about the difference between hearing aid dome and hearing aid molds. Now, open fit options usually come with a dome option. Now, with ear molds, you can get a vent to reduce that occlusion effect. Let's talk about this though. Domes are typically better for users with mild losses. Ear molds are typically better for users with moderate to severe and profound hearing losses. The users with more moderate to severe to profound hearing losses will likely experience less occlusion because their hearing loss has already created this kind of um, gap in the hearing. And so when I wear my skeleton mold with a vent, I don't feel I experience a lot of occlusion because due to my moderate to severe hearing loss, I already don't hear a lot. With individuals that have mild hearing losses and have a lot more residual hearing than I have, they will likely experience that occlusion effect much more than I would if they wear a full skeleton mold and do not have a vent. So it's really important to ensure that your hearing loss level complements your dome or your ear mold option and that you choose a dome or ear mold option that reduces occlusion for your specific hearing loss. If you've watched my previous videos, you know I am a champion of custom ear molds. I just think they feel better, they fit better, the sound quality is better and so much more, but I have a moderate to severe hearing loss. It's important to acknowledge that important factor. Ear molds, custom ear molds just deliver better sound quality for those that have greater hearing losses like myself. The key to reducing occlusion in your hearing devices is a proper fit with some ventilation to allow that sound to move freely through your ear canal. Everything's dialed in just right. You should enjoy wearing your hearing aids. If you don't for some reason of discomfort, talk with your hearing provider about that. 
address it. Maybe try out a different device or a different dome or a different ear mold, but try different options. Realize the option that you currently have is not the only option that's available. If you think something might work for you, invest in it, try it. There are a lot of companies that offer money back guarantees. Take advantage of those. I have found that users that follow their gut are often much more happy with the solutions that they find and invest in. That's it for today's video on occlusion. Do you have any questions for me? If so, I would love to hear in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Definite Hearing for more great hearing loss related content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.